हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई चैनल आई एम कृष्ण दुपाइन अ फास्ट एंड मास्टर स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ डेटा साइंस एंड क्वालिटी मैनेजमेंट साइंस इन इंडियन स्टेटिस्टिकल इंस्टीट्यूट एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी विल टॉक अबाउट मास्टर ऑफ साइंस इन क्वालिटी मैनेजमेंट साइंस माई डिग्री सो वी विल टॉक अबाउट इट्स को इट्स एलिजिबिलिटी क्राइटेरिया इट्स को स्ट्रक्चर एक्सेट्रा सो लेट्स बिगिन We have come back to our computer. Now we will talk about MSQMS and all its scope, its eligibility, its course structures, its syllabus of the entrance exam, everything about it. So we will start. At first, we will talk about the scope of Master of Science in Quality Management Science. Now it is a two-year program which is offered by Indian Statistical Institute. The first year is at the Bangalore Centre. and the second year is at hyderabad uni the course structure is designed to create data scientists with exceptional skills in statistics machine learning operations research and quality as major fields every organization wants to predict customer behavior and provide insight to strengthen their business with the help of accurate and reliable data using the data driven analytical approach with extensive application of statistical analysis exploratory and predictive modeling this program is designed in such a way that the students are given sound theoretical knowledge with live project applications needed for data science business analytics machine learning statistical modeling optimization and quality management so i have written here that uh, the first year is at the bangalore center and the second year is at hyderabad the third semester is at hyderabad and the fourth semester we have a uh, dissertation and industry internship or live project any one of it most of the students go to the industry for an internship specifically in the domains of data science risk analysis quality management etc but nowadays it is mainly data science the dissertation work can be done in it may be in bangalore it may be in hyderabad it may be in kolkata also it depends on the students and the topics the students choose for the dissertation and availability of faculties who will guide them for the dissertation works mainly after completing this course most of the students go for in industry jobs in the role of data scientists quality analyst risk analyst data analyst etc but some two or three students go for their higher studies they do phd it may be in isi itself there is a phd option in isi in quality reliability and operations research they also go for phd in the us universities in the field of applied mathematics operations research etc so next we jump into the eligibility part in order to be eligible for admission to this program an applicant must have a 3 year bachelor's degree with mathematics as a subject or a b b tech degree in any discipline this is simple now there is a criteria of sponsored candidates there is a provision of sponsorship of candidates for this program by government semi government and public sector undertakings general eligibility criteria and qualifying degree for sponsored candidates are the same as those for the regular candidates however the following clauses are applicable in the case of sponsored candidates A sponsored candidate must be from government or semi-government or government aided, both national and international. Self-sponsored candidates are not eligible to, to apply for these sponsored candidates. Sponsored candidates will have to pay a tuition fee of rupees fifty thousand per semester. They are not eligible for any scholarship or financial support from the institute. But for the regular candidates, the tuition fee zero. A sponsored candidate must have been in service of the sponsoring organization for at least two years. as on the date of admission to the program these two years of service experience must have been gained by the candidate after acquiring the requisite qualifying degree of the program into which the candidate is seeking admission in this case this is for ms qms exam the sponsored candidates part is valid for the three mtech programs in isi also The sponsoring can organization must specify undertake to pay the necessary tuition fees to the institute and to relieve the candidate to pursue the program for its full duration. A certificate from the sponsoring organization to the effects of points three and four above 
must be provided by the candidate at the time of applying for admission to the corresponding program. In our batch, there are 14 students, but we don't have any sponsored candidate. This is specifically for our batch. I don't know if there were, if in the previous batches, if there were sponsored candidates or not, but in our batch, there is no sponsored candidate. All are regular. Now we have done the scope. We have done the eligibility criteria. We have also talked about the sponsored candidates. Now we'll jump into the next part, which is the syllabus for the entrance exam. For the entrance exam, the syllabus is mainly based on graduation level mathematics. It includes five topics. The first one is algebra and it includes binomial theorem, arithmetic progression, geometric progression, harmonic progression, exponential and logarithmic series, sequences, permutations and combinations, theory of equations, relations and functions. The next topic is trigonometry, which includes trigonometric functions. Now, next, coordinate geometry, two and three dimensional coordinate geometry. Next part is matrix, vectors, matrices and determinants. The next part is calculus, limits, continuity, differentiation of functions of one or more variables, Differential equations, unconstrained optimization, definite and indefinite integrals, integration by parts and integration by substitution, elements of probability and probability distribution. This is the syllabus for entrance exam. This is mainly combined with class 11, 12 mathematics plus some portion of graduation level. I can't tell that it is graduation level mathematics but it includes graduation level mathematics in a certain level now we'll discuss the course structure after joining mskms what will be your course structure how it is designed we'll look into it so this course is a this is a two-year program which consists of 15 compulsory courses two elective courses and a dissertation in the first three semesters and live project work during the fourth semester the classes for the first two semesters will be held in Bengaluru as I mentioned earlier and the same for the third semester will be in Hyderabad. The project work in the fourth semester will be at the respective locations. It may be in Bangalore, it may be in Hyderabad, it depends. If you choose the project work which is under a faculty, it will be the place of the faculty in which center he works, he or she works or and if you choose the industry internship then it will be the office of that respective companies and for the dissertation work you will work under the professor you will choose the professor according to your topic the semester wise list is here in first semester we have statistics for decision making basically descriptive statistics statistical process control project management reliability maintainability and safety this subject is a mixture of probability and the concepts of reliability total quality management and operations research in semester 2 we have statistics for decision making 2 which is mainly the inferential statistics advanced statistical process control multifaceted data analysis reliability maintainability and safety 2 operational research 2 and the elective now we have to choose a elective from these topics which are game theory capability maturity models marketing research database management pattern recognition neural network markov analysis and modeling troubleshooting and problem solving for quality improvement we have to choose any one among these in semester three we have six sigma business excellence strategy and problem solving framework operations research three applied regression analysis industrial experimentation and elective we have to choose any one of these two topics quality audit in supply chain management you can choose anyone and in semester four we have dissertation and industry internship or project work now this dissertation starts from the end of the semester three and it continues the first one and a half months or two months of the last semester after completing this dissertation the students have to make a presentation in front of the professor and they will get marks for that and similar for an industry internship or project work they will they have to submit a report about their works they have done during this industry internship or project work for this elective courses there is a condition the small condition the offering of an elective course will depend on students interest and availability of teachers most of these courses which are written here are taught using real-time simulation and packages such as r python Minitab, microsoft excel and sas 
this statistics part is mainly taught using Minitab and Microsoft Excel and the data related topics like multivariate data analysis, the regression topics, the neural network these are taught using R and Python. So this is the whole course structure. Now if you want to know that suppose there is written statistics for decision making what but what is into the subject what you will learn. So for this let's go to the browser. We have come into the ISA Bangalore website I will provide this link in the description box. So we have seen this is the MSQMS first year and the MSQMS second year topic this is old version but the topics inside them are same. So suppose there was statistics for decision making one. So if you want to know what is inside this. So you will go. This is there here is statistics for decision making one. You click on this. And you will get the syllabus. What is the um, inner matter of the topics. Right. Similarly suppose there was neural network. Right. Go to neural network. And here is the syllabus. Suppose there is operational research one. You will go and see. So I will provide the link of this web page and you can check yourself. Please hit the like button if you like this video. If you know somebody who is appearing for MSQMS in the upcoming session, Please share this video with them, it, it will be very helpful for them to know about the degree before appearing for the exam for before preparing for this exam. Share your feedback in the comment section below. The main motto of this channel was to provide help and guidance to the students who are appearing mainly for this. I will continue to make these course related videos about the next master's degrees like MSTAT, MMAT. I will make this type of detailed video about the course structure, the syllabus, scope, etc. in the upcoming videos. So stay tuned for that and thank you. Goodbye.